What up my sippers and stoners, it's Miana DK checking in once again, and I'm bringing you what I like to call the politics fix, okay? It's politics, but simply how it applies to us. So as you can see here, we got a lot of things going on right now in the country, and I'm going to tell you why it's relevant, okay? The national emergency, why is the national emergency relevant? Well, it's especially relevant because the next time we get a Democratic president, they can simply say, oh my God, gun violence is a national emergency, or oh my God, equal work for equal pay is a national emergency, or they can say something like, you know, reparations for slavery is a national emergency. We need to go ahead and pull money from right here or right there to pay off the people that we did wrong or whatever. So it just, it's really just sidestepping the Constitution. You see that picture right there. That's exactly what this administration is doing. They're sidestepping the Constitution. So since the Congress wouldn't approve the money for our uh, president's border wall, 45's border wall, what 45 decided to do was declare a national emergency so he can pull money from other places in the country, other programs in the country, to fund his border wall. Because obviously, that's something that the whole country wants, right? Huh. Okay. Um, the next thing that's plaguing our country right now is white supremacists, okay? Right now, the greatest threat to America is a white man with an angry, you know, personality, a white man who got his feelings hurt, a white man who got fired, a white man who got turned down, a white man who feels like all of the immigrants are taking his jobs. You know, that is the greatest threat to the country right now. You can't go to the mall, you can't go to the movies, you can't go to an amusement park without, you know, thinking in the back of your mind, is a white person gonna go crazy today and kill everybody? But for whatever reason, they will look around all of that just to see who's trying to come over that wall or just to see, you know, to talk about Chicago or just to talk about something that has nothing to do with the greatest threat to America right now. And the last thing I wanna talk about is this president meeting with Kim Jong-un. Now, y'all may not think this is a big deal, but this is a huge deal. This dude is a dictator. It's just amazing how 45 is aligning himself with all of himself, with all of the tyrants and dictators of the world. Now, I'm not surprised by this, but a lot of people may be. And why this matters is because that shit trickles down to you and your family. So, you know, what I'm bringing this up for is we got to get into politics, not just national politics, but the politics of our own separate cities and states. Who are your councilmen? Who are, who are your state representatives? Who are your senators? Do you know those things? But more importantly than even all of those, who are the judges? Who are the ones that are sending our kids to jail? Who are the prosecutors that are setting these ridiculous bail amounts? Who are the people who are recommending these long sentences for our men? These are the people who we need to learn because see, our vote matters. And the national, you know, race people may feel like their vote doesn't matter. It count, it might not matter, but it counts. That's why they pander to the black vote when it's election time because the black vote counts. It doesn't matter if the only time we're, vote, we're voting is to elect a president who, to be honest, has nothing to do with where we live or where our kids go to school. Let's get into the local things. Let's find out what matters to us. What would you like to hear me talk about on a politics fix? This is the first one, but I plan on coming to you at least every week with a politics fix. So let me know what you want to hear, guys. I'm here to serve you at the end of the day. That's just what it comes down to. So if you guys have anything that you want to hear me talk about, anything that you want me to address for the people, for our culture, let me know. This has been Miana DK with your politics fix. Until next time, you never know what's going to be in this morning's cup.